you, if you take nothing else from the day-to-day, -day, um, I'm a central component, a really um, important point that I'm, that I'm going to make in a variety of repeated and varying guises throughout the day, is that um, this is a skill that you are learning here today. We're going to attempt to get across an idea and a, and a depth of understanding as to what self-hypnosis actually is, and know how to structure subsequent self-hypnosis sessions for yourself. I remember kind of waking up from spending half an hour in his chair and thinking, you know, cool, Something, something's happened to me now, you know, and, and I was expecting a lightning bolt up the arse at some point and, and some kind of way of knowing, you know, what, what's happened? You know, you know I, I must be better now. And, and I said to the guy, now, how am I going to know? And he said, he said, don't worry, you don't need to know, your unconscious mind knows. And I was thinking, but I want to know. You know, when's my unconscious mind going to tell me? A uh, pretty valid um, question that I was asked in uh, interval that I just want to address and um, answer because I think it's really useful to all of you. When you're there on the floor and everybody else is in position, what will happen is um, A, you access hypnosis, B, being in control. You probably don't need to do much of a deepener because sheer... So thank you very much. Um, um, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I hope you all get the opportunity to practice your skills and become better self-hypnotists. If you have any questions or queries, um, I'm yet to move into my ivory tower. So, you know, I'm very accessible and would love to hear from you. Um, or if you have queries or ways in which you wish to advance your skills or something along those lines. Um, hope you all have a really lovely weekend. Um, it's been very nice meeting you. Goodbye.